Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm at my wiki up shelter. It's already almost dark and it's only like six o'clock, but we're in mid October and uh, yeah, it's already really dark. Gotta get a fire started and uh, boil some water, have some supper, and then I wanna add some bows for my bed. I brought a sleeping bag, but no sleeping pad. I want to grab some water just in case I get problems with the fire. Water to put it out. I brought this huge, huge pot. bit of grass to start my my fire with Just getting a couple small trees for some boughs Okay, so it's pretty much dark now. I got my water for my fire and I just hurried up and gathered a bunch of firewood just before it gets too dark and I don't want to be going away far from the shelter once it gets too dark. So I'm going to cut it up, start my fire and boil some water. I don't want to go too crazy on the fire in this shelter. Wiki up the walls. You don't want to burn the walls down or anything, so I got to be careful starting it too. Would have liked to do a fire pit with rocks and stuff, but I didn't have. Time. It's already, I got here pretty much in the darkness, but at least the shelter is already built. I brought a sleeping bag so I don't need to worry about having enough firewood to keep warm. I'll do a gear video tomorrow when it's bright out on all the, the gears that I, that I brought. I'll have to cut some boughs for the, the bed, doing that here shortly. And I managed to, I managed to get the, uh, the bear bag up. It's not the greatest setup, but man in the dark, it sure is complicated. All right, so, bows. you guys with my flashlight you see me do this before just some fresh green bows boil add this to my pad tie that's what I'm trying tonight pad tie back Packer's Pantry. Remove the absorber. Remove peanuts. Try not to spread some everywhere. Some peanut butter. Eh, I'm gonna not use that. <laughs> Might just attract animals more than anything else. This I might as well eat, get some good calories. Peanuts are actually the food that contains the most.
calories per gram or per weight. Don't quote me on it, but according to my research. So it's a good good food to carry around. Grab my gloves, this thing's freaking hot. Alright. So it says two two and a quarter cups, five hundred mils. No clue how much water I have in here, probably not enough. Add that and boil some more. My head's gonna be on this side, so I'll put most of my bellows where my core will be. Alright, good enough. I can throw my Shimog pillow, my tooth, and my sleeping bag. Uh, weather forecast for tonight should be come down to zero minus one, just about. And uh, right now it's like three or four. Sleeping bag on the bush bed. It's good to practice some skills in the dark, but hard to film like you guys probably can't really see anything trying to do my best with the, the headlamp and the other flashlight that I brought Looks like my pad thai is ready. Added a bit more water and kept mixing it. Looks pretty good. It's got lots of noodles, peanuts, and sauce and stuff. Try not to put some everywhere in the shelter. Yep. That's ready. Eating my uh, my supper outside the shelter. I don't want to attract bears or animals or anything. I don't want to spill food all over the place. The shelter's been here for uh, almost a year now. Still standing pretty good, nice and solid. I've been wanting to do this overnighter for a while. It's fun to finally do it. Mmm. Mm. All right, so I want to show you guys a really good camping dessert. One of my uh, buddies from college showed me this when I was in college, and man, this is good. 
you guys got to try this for sure. So you need three ingredients, a banana, some chocolate, any type of chocolate, and some marshmallows. And if you're at home, you can do the exact same thing and uh, put it in the oven, I don't know, like 350. And you don't need to put the uh, aluminum paper. And uh, what will happen is the chocolate will all melt inside the banana. See, I just cut the banana lengthwise. And uh, the marshmallows will, will blend in and melt. And they'll become all like golden colored. And man, that's good. True. Getting smoked out here by the fire. All right, so still chocolate pieces inside the banana. It's a good one. The banana is a little bit more, I don't know, it depends how you like your bananas, I guess. And then you put some marshmallows as well. Now the marshmallows will expand, so if you're doing this in the oven, you got to put something underneath because it all fall out. But yeah, that's about it. And then I'll throw this on the grill. Like I said, about 350, 375 should be good. to uh, scramble dough. <laughs> scramble dough, I tried your uh, your apple, uh, bacon fried apples with cinnamon for breakfast this morning, and it was really good. Not quite ready, but everything's falling apart, so. If you do it in the oven, the marshmallows don't stick on the, the aluminum paper. So it's a little bit better, but still you get the general idea. Shelter's real effective, like it's windy out, like, and uh, I'm nice and toasty inside the shelter, but as soon as I go out to cut wood or, 
something like that, I feel that little breeze and I feel like I need to put another layer of clothes on, but in the shelter, I'm really comfy. And this is a lot of sugar for tonight. Setting up the the bear bag. Pretty much set up for the night now. Got a little pile of firewood here to burn slowly. And uh, I got my sleeping bag all set up in the bush bed. Show you guys how the, the cattail, how the cattail is looking. Still looking pretty solid, nothing moved. Tripod. Nine thirty already. Jeez. All right, guys. It's nine thirty-five. I'm getting ready to hop in the sleeping bag and close an eye. I'll see you guys in the morning. I got the shamok and a coat for a pillow should be good excited to try this bush bed out Taking some of these, trying to break these branches off before I go to bed. Don't want to poke an eyeball while I'm sleeping, or if I get up and forget I'm in the shelter.
Hey guys, it's two in the morning and it's pretty chilly and the fire went out. What the fire go out? It's left from it's left from eleven or I guess ten to to now. I'm gonna man up, get a twig bundle, and get the fire started. Go back to bed. It's 5.30, I just put a few logs in the fire and the coal's going again. I'll go back to sleep. Morning everyone. 7.30. Got up, grabbed some water. I boil uh, a bit of water for the oatmeal and uh, coffee this morning. So. Yeah, it was chilly. There's a bit of frost on the leaves. It's still too dark to, to film without the headlight. But uh, cut a little bit more wood. Oatmeal and a bit of instant coffee.
done breakfast. Starting to pack up. The rest of the video will be me mostly packing up my gear and uh, I'll show you guys um, everything I brought basically. Next time I'd like to try a, uh, a cattail bed instead of the bows. You can see better now with uh, the flashlight. The bows tap down, didn't have thick enough. Okay, so first things first, I got my big pot for putting out the fire. I didn't use it yet. I got a headlamp. Also got my other my other bigger flashlight. Got a reflective vest, an extra one. Got leather gloves. Got these small merino wool gloves as well. My shimog. Another pair of gloves. Um, extra pair of socks. A small uh, toque. I have this one on right now. This one's wool. This one's only like a little fleece for when you're more active. Then I got my 20 gauge pump action. Brought it just in case. Um, my saw, my little saw, back a little saw. I used it quite a bit to gather wood. I brought my uh, Hudson Bay, uh, Wetterlings Hudson Bay Axe, but I uh, didn't even use it. I felt more, th more comfortable using my saw that night in the dark. Got my camera case with some extra batteries. Got five extra batteries. Well, five batteries total. I got one liter Nalgene bottle that I all used up. My two pots, my Morris Bush pot. My uh, titanium uh, pot. My little grill. My sleeping bag. My big green backpack. This is the Carrymore Sabre 6100. Everything will fit in here except, except the big, the big huge uh, water pot that I'll put out the fire with. And my uh, tripod and my gun won't fit in there. I'll carry them in my hands. In the top pouch I got sunglasses my hunting license, my first aid kit, some 20 gauge shells. I got five here, I've got another five in my pocket. This is just a canoe uh, throw bag, floating rope that I use for my bear bag. My food, food bag. Got my MP pad thai, my chocolate. I had a banana in here. I've got two extra uh, granola bars, some uh, instant coffee, and some toilet paper. And that's about it. Forgot to mention, I also have bear spray on my belt. And I got my uh, neck knife, as always. 